We're going to say I intentionally delayed this recording because I knew I wanted to wait until the tiebreakers were completed so that I could have a correct final slide. That being said, this is the top 10 after the Fall Cup for North America. And number 10, I have Shopify Rovelli, and I did have to drop them back down. Unfortunately, they did not do quite as well this regional as they did last time. They did end up losing in round five to version one, who ended up winning the tournament. So not too much you know, harm there. Still definitely a solid squad. Have an outside shot at the major, all that being said. So uh, this is memory, Parth, and two-piece. Two-piece has been fantastic this season. So Shopify Rebellion still solidly at 10th. Number nine, you have Optic Gaming. It hurts me to drop these guys two places lower as well. That's Rails, AJ, and Magic Bear. Still a massive Rails fan um, as a, you know, Space Station gaming fan. Wanted to see him find success wherever he can. And while Optic does have an outside shot at making the major, definitely more of a chance than uh, Rebellion does. These guys uh, need to find another gear in this next uh, Invitational. I hope they can, but right now I do have to put them at ninth just because North America is so stacked. And number eight is complexity. I jumped them up one spot due to the win over Optic Gaming. Both these teams ended up making that top eight in the most recent regional. Um, that's This roster is AAG, Race Bowl, and CRR. This was the first time they made top eight, and they actually went three and one through the Swiss, so that was another factor in me putting them above Optic. They did lose in game seven. I believe it was overtime against Space Station. My heart was racing that entire series. Um, that being said, all of the quarterfinals went to game seven. So definitely a stacked top eight or top nine teams of North America. Cause I mean, we'll get to who missed out on that top eight later at number seven. I have energy esports. I've jumped them up three spots. Uh, Justin Gergi squishy, still a very veteran roster still have it. They made top four in the most recent regional. So I did have to jump them up three spots because of that. Um, very surprising result from them and actually puts them in not a terrible spot for the major. Um, a lot of people are talking about the top four being almost locked. I mean, you already have one team secured, two other teams are very close to securing, and then one is less secure, but still definitely in that fourth spot. Um, NRG and G2 are tied for that fifth spot currently, and everyone's given the nod to G2 just because it's G2, but it is you know notable that NRG is technically tied for a major spot at the current moment. So I do have them at seven, but they could still definitely improve on that. And number six, I have Furia. These guys ended up dropping one. Unfortunately, this is Card, Kyo, and Jan. Um, these guys did lose to version one in their quarterfinals. So definitely a tough draw from them. They went through 3-0 through the Swiss, which really impressed me. And so I think these guys still have a lot of places to go. I still think they can make the major. They have 12 points. Um, so they're on the same footing as Optic Gaming, but it's definitely not impossible. Uh, this is definitely a team that is capable of making finals, and so should that happen, they sh um, would have a really good chance at making the major, I believe. But I do have to drop them one and put them at six this week. And number five, I have G2 Esports. They dropped three after not making the top eight of the Fall Cup. That's JNAP, Chicago, and Atomic, and it, it feels weird to have them this low. I'm not going to lie. Um they definitely had a tough run, I will say. That's what everyone's complaining about the Swiss format for. Um, that being said, if you made the World Championship Finals, you should not be losing to uh, Space Station, Furia, and Gen G all in a row. I understand they're good teams, but you should be squeaking out one of those wins, especially if you have major and title aspirations. So I did have to drop G2 down to number five. Number four, no movement, Space Station. Um, it might be... Actually, I'm not sure it's going to be too controversial to put these guys over G2. I mean, G2 did make the semifinals along with Space Station, but that didn't make the Swiss. Uh, meanwhile, Space Station has been consistent top four. Um, they are one of the two teams to do that, I believe. Um, yes, they are one of the two teams to do that. Uh, this is Daniel, Arsenal, and LJ. Fantastic squad that haven't really um, been able to take down Gen G. They have lost to them in the semifinals twice now. And so I'm starting to get annoyed by that as a Space Station fan. But uh, they're solidly at fourth. Um, as long as they don't choke, they should be able to make this major. I think they need top four to guarantee it, but most likely they will guarantee it with top eight. It all depends on how Friday plays out. Uh, number three, I have version one. This is Beast Mode Common Torment, and these guys I am impressed with. 
Um, I'm glad that I put them at six in my last ranking. Otherwise, I would be getting called a fraud by Com. I don't know if you saw his tweet about everyone ranking them seventh and below. And I will admit, I had these guys missing the major. Um, I thought they were going to hurt from not making a roster move. And they were going to falter a little bit and fall and not make it. That being said, they did win the most recent event. Um, it's weird to have them at three because of that. But I do think the top two are still solidly there. Um, that being said, they are also the most slept on team when it comes to predictions and rankings. Version one still very solid. Um, looking to stay at the top of NA and hopefully squash the beast mode to SSG rumors that are flying around with absolutely no validation. I feel like I see that every third day just because beast mode Dan and daniel teamed up in a 2v2 tournament yes it'd be lethal but i don't think beast mode has any uh need to move i think version one is a fantastic org um, not just for the players but for the scene as well they've done amazing things at LAN, and so this is really an org that i'm happy to have at rock league and happy to say that they are most likely making this major and i do have them uh ranked at number three at the current moment number two i face clan i had to drop them one this is first killer cynical and missed um, they lost in quarterfinals to Gen G. Um, Nolly hit him with a fantastic tweet saying sleep now. I think they actually got the first seed coming out of Swiss. And so the real debate for the top two in North America right now is between uh, FaZe and Gen G, who I'll just go ahead and reveal because everyone knows Gen G is number one if FaZe is number two. These two are definitely the two teams um, digging it out for the top of North America. Um, Gen G is apparently Jack, Nolly, and Chronic. And although they haven't won an event, they have gotten to the Grand Finals twice and are the only team locked for LAN at the current moment. Um, that being said, FaZe and Version 1 are like a half step behind them at this point. They're going to lock with like two series wins, I think is what's needed. Um, but, I mean, Genji are already there. I wish they had won a final because then it'd be so easy to put them at number one. And that's the argument that I think people are giving FaZe that they should be at number one. Either way... Um, those top two teams are definitely um, one and two in North America, and that's another reason why version one players and fans probably feel like they're snubbed in these power rankings because they've done the exact same thing as FaZe. If you look at the results, uh, version one has won an event and lost in the quarterfinals to FaZe. If that doesn't sound, or to Genji, if that doesn't sound familiar, um, FaZe did the exact same thing, just flopped the regionals. Um, that being said, due to their consistency in making finals, I do have Genji at number one. Um, the rest of the teams, I almost read reset there, um, <laughs> but the rest of the teams that have qualified for the, um, fall invitational, you have the Pittsburgh Knights. They didn't make the fall cup, unfortunately, but they had enough points through their ninth through 11th finish in the fall open that they end up qualifying. Um, that is Sosa cheese and ZPS. So it'll be good to see them back on the pitch. Dignitas really needs no, um, explanation at this point. They're a solid team. They are probably, uh, 11th pretty unanimously in the region in my opinion maybe debate with axel but i do have them as the 11th best team and they will be returning for the invitational 26 rising definitely surprised me in the fall cup they managed to go one and three and they almost upset optic it took optic in a reverse sweep to take them down so i was excited to see them make it through that qualifier that they did tonight um recording this on wednesday i know it's going to be released probably friday but it was exciting to see them make it through in the upper stage of that tiebreaker. Um, Seoul, you have from last regional, they went one and three. Their one win was definitely the most impressive out of these teams in the tiebreakers that were tonight. Flashes of Brilliance just barely missed out. But if we remember back to the fall open, Seoul was able to take down Complexity. So definitely it seemed to keep your eye on, and I'm glad that they were able to sneak through that qualifier, um, taking down Flashes of Brilliance in seven. Um, you have Team Axel, who also needs no introduction. That's Toasty, Gimmick, and Ajax. I'm impressed that this team is working as well as it is. I mean, losing LJ, that's an integral piece of your roster, a fantastic player that people have been saying is probably top 10 in terms of talent for North America for a while now. Um, when he gets you know picked up by Space Station, you obviously think that roster is going to be a little bit worse off. And while they aren't to the heights that Oxygen was last season, they're still definitely managing and playing well so it will be exciting to see axel back on the pitch in the invitational last but not least you have rogue and i'm really hoping these guys take a series because they qualified in the top 16 invitational they were one of the top eight teams in the first swiss stage of the year and they've gone 0-3 twice now look 
I understand your first run in the fall open was terrible. You drew complexity 0-2. That's tough. But again, to go 0-3, again, you have Aqua, Gyro, and Taroko. Gyro hit a psycho in the closed qualifiers. Aqua really needs no introduction. Taroko's no slouch either. Like, I really hope Rogue can actually take a series in this event. I think they're definitely going to be able to. But it will be up to them to actually pull that off that being said those are my fall cup rankings heading into the weekend um this will actually be next weekend as i mean i'll probably releasing this after europe swiss stage finishes and so obviously north america won't be starting until a week after that but it'll be interesting to see what shakes out um thank you all for watching i should have the fall cup rankings for europe out sometime next week and yeah that's it. Let's see another video.